Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Again, though, you got some crazy people out here, y'all. And, and, it, Lord, may have mercy, y'all. I couldn't believe we ain't about to talk about this. Just roll it. <laughs> Just roll it. Stupid! Now, y'all know Katrina Pearson is a flat-out idiot. I'm talking about dumb as a bag of rocks. She worked for Trump during the 2016 campaign. That child would go on TV and would just make stuff up and just lie through her teeth. Now, she was scared to bring her behind on my show. I wonder why. So this weekend, she was on, she was on Al Sharpton's show on MSNBC, and she was asked to name an African-American who works in Trump's West Wing. Y'all listen to what her ass said. Because I'm not going to participate in the attempt to make this all about race. It's ridiculous. How many black people were in Abraham Lincoln's West Wing? Uh, uh, it's first of all, to go if you got to go back to Abraham Lincoln, you really need to, you really need to but shop. That's it. my point. Uh, my George point Bush, is, I mean, George was Abraham Bush, Lincoln a racist George because Bush, he didn't have see, a black person in the West Wing? All, I mean, this is I insane. It's an insane discussion. Question. Y'all, her ass <laughs> said, how many black people <laughs> did I'm Abraham sorry. Lincoln have? <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all do know that there were a handful of free slaves when Lincoln was president. But you know, black folks were still enslaved. <laughs> we well, you know, Roland, um, Frederick Douglass, who Mr. That Man seems to think is still alive, he did visit the White House <laughs> during the Lincoln administration on more than one occasion. He visited. Visited. He didn't he want to. He was not there working. No, there wouldn't be. Not now. Now. There were some. Now, now, hold up. Maybe Katrina is right. There were some black people on staff at the White House. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And the West Wing. The butler, <laughs> the usher. The gardener, the maid, the cooks, the folks who laid his clothes out. Yeah. But to actually think Lincoln had some black people in his cabinet. Well, you know, Trump fired even those folks when he got he took office. Well, yeah, he did fire the first <laughs> black uh, usher in the White House. Yeah. But it, but it's but what gets, what gets me is the folk who actually have her on, they literally take her seriously. I'm telling you right now. I would be mocking the hell out of her, Mike. I, 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 the segment would have stopped right there. And it would have been like, just stop sign, red light, uh, crossing guard, come down. And I would have made her look like a damn fool. She, she already looked like one of No, no, no. I'm no, talking about I would have made did, her ass look like a fool. He did eventually fool. cut her, Mike. I would, I would have had a black draft right there. Yeah. Who can we trade her for? Because that was just a bit. The fact that she could even fix her mouth to say that. I don't. I think what happens is they, they. I don't even know who the they's are. Forty five people. That they always feel that they're under attack. They always feel they're victims, and so they have to say whatever they can say. A to filibuster, so they run out of time to get to a commercial mm -hmm. break. But also, they just want to say whatever because the Trump base. I'm so sick of hearing about it. Everyone had a base. Nixon had a base. Everyone had a base. I'm tired of hearing about their base. They are. They are. He's basically playing his base for dum dums. Because yeah. anything he or his allies say, he thinks they'll believe. And because and of will. that, we get into the well, situation and, and, like with her. And they will. But what, one thing I must say in, in, in recognition of Women's History Month is that Mary Todd Lincoln did have an African American woman, Elizabeth, um, I forget her last name now, but who was her tailor, her seamstress. And that, that, that is in germane to that point. But the fact is that. Lincoln was somewhat open to our participation. This woman was, and they were best friends oh, after Lincoln but died. The, but, 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 but the, the but biggest, this, little, this little girl here, and I say little girl because I don't have any respect for that kind of that level of ignorance. Oh, I mean, that is beyond <laughs> ignorance. I, I, I can't. And, and Eugene, but, uh, and the question is, who's in the West Wing? Uh, who's now, in you, the West Wing? Who's brother the executive at Trump? But the reality Trump is, right. who's 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 and and the decision making capacity in the in the campaign side? Hell, who's who, who do we have at the RNC? Right now, nobody. I mean, yeah, Isn't there's a coordinator, the but there. I mean, there, as it as it stands right now, there are 
no black Republicans in decision-making position uh, when it comes to the Trump apparatus. Period. Mm -hmm. But he loves the blacks. He loves the blacks. <laughs> he loves the exactly. blacks. Especially, especially and he his cares, own blacks. And he cares so much about us. I can't wait to find... Wait, but blacks love him, too. I, right. I can't... <laughs> but but y'all but know the unemployment rate has gone up four times, because four consecutive months with black people, and we, ain't heard, we haven't heard any mention of that. But he loves the blacks. You know what's going to be next? A video of him signing a black Bible. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. So a lot of folks out there, of course, trying to get healthy and well in 2019, and for a variety of reasons. Uh, whether you want to uh, lose uh, weight, whether you want to simply look better, whether you want to uh, get all ready for beach season and have your bikini, one piece or two piece, uh, we, of course, get ourselves uh, together for a variety of reasons. So one of the places you, of course, uh, can check out, uh, folks, at uh, D Herbs. That's right, uh, the Full Body Cleanse. They have 27 different cleanses that you can actually take advantage of. And the whole point of this, of course, is removing excessive eating, excessive food, processed foods and fried foods out of our body in terms of, again, getting us healthy and well and giving us more energy. And so if you want to try the, uh, the uh, D-Herbs Full Body Cleanse, all you got to do is go to dherbs.com. That's dherbs.com. Or and use the promo code ROLAND for a discount when you go check out. Now, you can also call one 4 dherbs 1-866-4 D Herbs. Again, the same promo code is rolling. Check out their full body cleanse. I've done it three different times, enjoyed it all three times. Uh, and so it also changes your perspective in terms of what you eat, how you eat, and also what you drink. And so again, dherbs.com or call 1-866-4 D Herbs. And we thank uh, D Herbs, a black owned company, for being a partner here with Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.